Geographically, when I arrived, the mission was Argentina Resistencia, and that was the size of the state of California. So it was a huge mission. Um, and it bordered Brazil, Uruguay, Paraguay, um, were the three different countries that it bordered. And it stretched all the way from Formosa to Posadas, or to Misiones is the name of the province. Um, and then, you know, a year after I left, they split it right along the Paraná River. Um, so it ended up being Chaco, Corrientes, and Formosa on one side, and then Misiones on the other side. And those are the names of the provinces, which are like the, the states. Um, but geographically, it's a huge mission. Um, and you get a whole range, like a whole spectrum of, of different, you know, terrains. Um, on the Misiones side and parts of Corrientes, it's really jungly, really tropical. Um, and actually Corrientes, like since I've been home, I've read up a lot on, on what it's called. And it's technically called the South American Mesopotamian Plateau, which I mean, it's, it's exactly what, like what you would imagine Mesopotamia would be like. It's very dry but there's grasslands it's it's a really pretty place um and then formosa kind of had the reputation of being very barren very desert like um and and so that's kind of what the geography was like the, the church is not super strong there um the closest temple to the mission is in paraguay in asuncion so for some members it's 15 minutes away and for some members it's like eight hours away depending on where you're coming from within the mission. Um, the mission itself started in, in 1991, I believe. Um, and before that, uh, Elder Christofferson came to our mission when he was there. And he had, when he was serving, and I think it was just called the Northern Argentina Mission, he served in the town of Corrientes. So the church has been there for a long time. It wasn't until the 90s that it was really able to start developing more quickly, just because there were more missionaries there. Um, but yeah, so when I was there, there were two stakes in the whole mission and everything else was just branches um you know branches and districts so you were considered to be really lucky if you were put into a ward um but most of the time you were in a branch and the church is really small i mean and since it is so small uh there are missionaries that are branch presidents um and the biggest struggle facing the church there is is getting good priesthood holders to join the church because i mean the women in argentina i mean you teach them and they're very faithful and they're very believing um but the men seem to be a little harder of heart and that's why the church has a hard time growing because you can't become a ward or a stake without a certain amount of priesthood holders um so those were the struggles we were kind of facing um but the church has been growing a lot i mean between 1991 and 2012 it's split into two missions so there are twice as many missionaries in the area now um and the, the work really is progressing um you know, in my time there, I saw it grow and become stronger and, and wards split and branches split. Um, and the splitting is good because it means that you're getting enough to, to really cover the area effectively.